Welcome. This is another Digital Adventures Let's Build. We are going to be making another Among Us task in Scratch. I've gotten some requests for this one, so let's try it out. Uh, we're going to be making a card swipe game, or uh, task from Among Us. So, first thing we'll look and see is I got a green sprite, a red sprite, um, a readout with four costumes that I named Fast, Slow, Accepted, and Start. I have a wallet that will just sit in the background. I have a pocket that will be in front of the ID card. I have an ID card which we will be able to pull out and a reader sprite which the card is going to sneak underneath and we're going to drag it through. Okay. So let's get this green light out of the way. So how do we make it so that it lights up when we uh, do a good job, when we are accepted? We're going to use broadcast. When I receive, I'm going to say accepted. We want to make sure this is bright. So I'm going to go in here and set the ghost effect to zero. Um, there we go. So what we're doing here is saying I don't want it to be uh, transparent at all. It needs to be full brightness. Because at the start, of our game, we are going to set the ghost to 50. And then if I get accepted, it lights up, as you can see. Just like that. Now we have two others. If I'm not accepted, I, maybe I went too fast. If I went too fast, I'm going to set this to 50. And if I go too slow, I'll add a new one here. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 50. So now, go too slow, too fast, nothing happens, accepted. I light up, too fast, too slow, goes back to uh, ghosted. So let's do the same thing, except in reverse with the red light. So I'm going to go to the red, pull it in. Let's see if I got all of them. Sometimes Scratch doesn't do so well with dragging blocks into other sprites, but there we go, 50 when it starts, good. If I go too slow, I go back down to zero. Too fast, we'll go down to zero. But if I'm accepted, we do 50. So I just reverse those. Uh, if I go too fast, it'll tell me red, too slow, red. But if I've been accepted, it'll actually do nothing. Um, okay. Next is the readout, which will be very similar as well. At the start of the game, uh, we're not going to use colors, but we're going to change its costume. We're going to switch costume to start. And then, uh, when I receive too fast, oh no, no comments, please. Uh, when I say too fast, I will say uh, make the costume switch to the too fast, try again. If it's too slow, I'll do the same thing, except new costume, too slow, try again. And lastly, if I'm accepted, I will switch it to accepted, which will say accepted, thank you. Excellent. Uh, next thing I will do is skip the wallet, it's doing nothing. Uh, and then there's a pocket. So the pocket is going to be always in front of the ID, so we're going to say when green flag click forever, go to front. Okay, then we have the ID, uh, and the ID just needs to stay in front of that one. So we're going to uh, we're going to work on the ID in a little bit. It has a lot more code. Let's go to the reader. The reader always needs to be in front as well. So I'm going to drag the code from the pocket into the reader, and this will make sure it stays in front of the ID, so you can kind of slide it in. Okay, so that is setting it up. Uh, now what I'm going to do is work on the card. Now the card, I want it to stay at the start inside of the pocket. And you're going to do that with a go to block from motion, of course. And I'm going to sneak in a go uh, to front. Let, um, at the beginning as well. And this will make sure it'll stay behind this pocket 
because it's only going to front once and then and still in front of this big wallet piece. Next, forever loop. Now we're gonna wait and check and see if we are clicking on the ID. And if we are, we're gonna be pulling it into the card slot and then dragging it. And then it should return back to the wallet. And that's what we're gonna work on right now. So we need an if else, because there's two things that this card can be doing. It's either being pulled around or it is sitting in the wallet. If it's being pulled around, we we can track that with an and block and two sensing blocks of mouse down and touching mouse pointer. And that should let us, uh, that should check to see and it's gonna basically activate code here if we are touching and clicking this ID. If we are doing that, we're gonna make it go to our mouse pointer. Now we need to snap it into the reader because in Among Us, when you pull the ID, it kind of snaps in there and it slides across nicely. So if we are touching the reader, the readout, no, nope, not the readout, we need the reader. If it's touching the reader, we're going to snap the Y position. So we're going to say set Y to zero, which is about the middle. So that should snap it in there. And then we're going to still allow the X position to follow our mouse pointer. So we're going to set X to the mouse X to the follow them, the mouse's left and right. And if we're not holding it down, we need to snap it back to the wallet with a go to block. And let's check it out. Pull it up. Oh, I did something wrong. I did go to random position, didn't I? Yeah, you need to do mouse pointer. I'm sure you all saw that. Terrible, terrible mistake. Okay, there we go. Snaps in there, you can pull it. goes back to the wallet. Now what we need to do is create a way for Scratch to track the speed of the card. Now that would be really hard to do to track like the actual pixels per second uh, speed of this card and then write code for that. One easy way to do it, and I'm not sure if Among Us programmed it this way, is to figure out the start time and how long it takes to get slid to the end and then uh, figure out if that was too slow or too fast. To do that, we need a timer. Something to time how long it took to go left to right. I'm gonna use a variable. Um, I already have one here, but I'll make a new one. Timer for all sprites is fine. And we're gonna set the timer to zero and then just say forever, wait um, a 10th of a second excuse me, 0.1 seconds, and then change the timer by one. So it'll count up pretty fast, so we can have a pretty um, specific time that we need to uh, slide the card for it to be accepted. Now with that in mind, with a timer that's just counting upwards, let's create a way to figure out when we want that timer to reset. When green flag clicked, forever. And then we're gonna wait until the card is in the correct position. We're gonna wait until the reader is touching the card. The card reader is touching it. Um, touching the reader. So it needs to be, the card needs to be up here and to the left. To figure out if we are on the left side, we just say if our X position is less than minus 150. There we go. So once that's in position, we're gonna run some code here. That code is going to be setting the timer back to zero. So that's gonna track how long it takes to move to the right. Now, 
the timer gets reset, I'm holding it up in top left and now I'm pulling it to the right. And now we need to see when uh, we've moved it to the right or when the card has moved all the way over. And we're gonna use another wait until and a greater than block. And we're gonna say greater than 150 because the X position of 150 is about to, you know, off to the right. And once we've reached that, we're gonna see how this timer is doing. And there are three uh, paths that can be taken. Either we went too fast and we get the too fast readout. We went too slow, we get the too slow readout. Or we were just in between the numbers we wanted, the time, um, we were just right and we will be accepted. So let's start off with if we were too fast. If something is greater than something, if the timer was greater than six, I figured out these numbers earlier to kind of find something that was pretty challenging, but not too challenging. Uh, if the timer is greater than six, that means we went too slow. So we're gonna broadcast that message. Too slow. Okay, great. Uh, if we weren't too slow, uh, we were either too fast or just right. So we need another if else statement to um, differentiate those. Let's grab a less than block. If we were less than four, if it took us less than four tenths of a second, we went too fast. So if the timer is less than that, we will broadcast too fast. Okay, and if we weren't too slow and we weren't too fast, then we probably should get accepted. Okay, so let's see how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and press the green flag. The timer is gonna go pretty wild. You probably wanna hide the timer when you're done, but I'm gonna leave it up here just for show. I pull it up, it resets and counts. I went way too slow, it took me like 20, second, 20 tenths of a second. Okay, so there you go. It can either go too fast, too slow, or just right. Nope, too fast, or just right. Accepted, thank you, very good. That is the let's build for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. So please like and subscribe, tell your friends, make some more games. Let me know what other games you want, uh, want me to make. See you later.